Hi everyone, my name is Alan Duarte and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Meaning. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today I'm going to show to you how to load data from one table to another using Matillion ETL for Snowflake. All right. Uh, so to do that, uh, I going here to Snowflake. I had to create a table. Uh, I created a very simple table with three columns uh, called people, uh, where we have the ID, the name, and the salary for each person uh, on a on a company, for example, right? Uh, so I basically created those three, those six rows here, uh, putting some information for each one of them. So if we do a quick select here from the table people, uh, we can simply see the data that they have here. Uh, the ID, the name, and the salary. All right, uh, so we have this table called people and basically the idea is to throw those six uh, records to the table called people target so if we go here uh, the main goal is to load those records to the table called people target all right so to do that i'm going to open material again and i'm going to create a new transformation job that is going to load those records from one table to another so I'm going to call it as load people data as a transformation job. Since I am dealing with data itself, I'm, this is going to be needed as a transformation instead of orchestration because I'm going to work on the data level. So that's why we're using transformation jobs. All right. So once we have our job ready, we are going to the read panel and use as a table input uh, to read from the Snowflake environment. So I'm going to point to our Snowflake uh, material DB. The schema is public. The target table is the table name I'm going to read from, so it's people. And here I'm going to select all the columns names that I wanted to drag to my canvas. So I'm going to select all of them here to the right side and the offset is I don't need to configure anything right now so basically this component is bringing all of those data from all of those three columns to my workspace here so to do that uh, I would if I wanted I could do any kind of transformation like uppercase like any calculation anything that I need to do here I have available on this transform tool uh, this transform folder uh, but I don't want to do anything of those transformations right now we can separate these to other captures chapters okay uh, so basically here I just want to load it to the to my target table so I'm going to drag this component here as a right folder uh, as a table output so if we drag the table output here I also need to, uh, to select my environment. So uh, my environment is Matillion Warehouse. My database is Matillion DB. And my schema is public. So here I'm going to select the target table as the people target, right? So I'm, I want to load from people to people target, correct? I don't wanna do any fixed data type mismatches. And here on the column mapping, I am basically going to indicate from which column I'm going to load each information. So we are going to load ID to ID, name to name, and salary to salary itself uh, from, from people to the people target tables. On this case, the, uh, the columns, they have the exact same name, of course, uh, but they could have been different and we can simply select all of them here. So with that being okay, I can also select a column to order by. I can like order by ID, for example, ascending. 
and that's it so here i also have the option uh, as a truncate to select the target table so if all every time i run this the data should be appended to the existing one or we should also truncate that what we have on that table so i'm going to select truncate because i wanted the table to be cleaned up every time all right so going back to our snowflake environment uh, our people table have six rows right and our target pit table has zero rows right so going here to our process i can simply run the job and we can follow we can follow the execution here like we had six row count being processed so let's go back to our snowflake now and see if we have some data here on the snowflake on the people target and and we have it so let me just drag the columns here but we we can see that we have all the information here right so this is a, this is a pretty simple process uh simply loading data from one table to another uh, using transformation jobs on Materium and as I explained be, be before we can do a lot of calculations and any kind of transformations here on the data for example adding an uppercase to the name or summing and grouping any kind of SQL based transformations or functions so that's the main goal of this uh, video uh, let me know if you have any questions and thank you so much and I highly hope to see you on the next chapters. Thank you. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are coming and posted. Thank you for watching.